hello you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is shamsa welcome to another motivational video here on sincerely shamsa if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back you know i appreciate you guys i appreciate each and every one of you guys for taking the time to watch my video subscribe and giving me likes and sharing my videos i appreciate all of you and if you are new here welcome my name is shamsa today's video it's a bedroom deep cleaning motivation i'm going to be deep cleaning my bedroom it has been months since we moved into this new house and i'm gonna be honest ever since we moved in i haven't moved this mattress so lately we have been sneezing and stuff and i know just what the cause of that is so uh, the um this house the whole floor is a um, laminate floor so it tends to get dusty real fast excuse me guys my baby's playing in the background so she's making noise excuse that but yeah it tends to get dusty real fast so um it is quite very dusty underneath the um the bed so i'm gonna get to the bottom of that today and deep clean that if you are in need of some cleaning motivation then you have clicked just the right video i hope that i motivate you enough to get up and clean if you are cleaning along with me let me know in the comment section and if you are just here just to watch and get motivated then i hope that i give you the motivation that you're looking for please consider to subscribe give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment of where you're watching my video from so first off i'm starting off by removing the bed covers from the bed i also had an extra um mattress um what is that called padding that was on there uh and i removed that i'm using this uh baking soda and just kind of sprinkling it all over the mattress uh what baking soda does is it neutralizes odor and it just makes your bed smell um your mattress smell fresh so i let that sit for like 30 minutes and you guys will see later that i'll vacuum but while i'm waiting for that i'm going to declutter this vanity area and uh, and also use some dis uh, disinfecting spray and just give it a good wipe So I recently bought this uh, Lysol Brandy Day uh, spray and disinfecting wipes. I love this scent. I didn't even know Lysol had this type of scent. I've always been using the citrus, um, I think it's citrus or lemon scent, uh, the yellow one. I had no idea they had this scent, but from now on, I'm definitely getting this because I love this scent. So I'm going to use the disinfecting wipe and also some of the spray and just wipe down my dresser and the mirror. Next up, we're moving on to this uh, nightstand in the corner of my bed. Um, I love the color of this nightstand. It's like marble, uh, espresso type of stuff uh, color. Um, I used to have a whole set of it, but unfortunately, um, the rest of it, um, we lost it due to some negligence of some people that... Uh, we're moving out our stuff in our previous apartment when they had to be renovated. I'm hoping to get a, a um, another nightstand, one of those mirror nightstand, so it matches with my uh, gray and white theme in my bedroom.
So now that I have like my whole house is like a laminate floor, I'm kind of missing a car uh, the carpet. Um, for some reason, I just love whenever I vacuum a carpet and it has that um, vacuum lines. I just I just find it so satisfying. And um, I kept this um, uh, area rug in my bedroom because I love vacuum that area rug and just looking at the vacuum line. So we're moving on back to the mattress, it has been over like 30 minutes now. So I'm going to use my vacuum and clean up all the baking soda that's on the mattress. So in here, I needed some help. I can't do this by myself. Uh, this mattress, it's a beast. It is so heavy. Even when we were moving here, we had to get like um, three men to help out to just take this from our um, second floor apartment to the U-Haul truck. It was so heavy. And I needed my husband's help, honestly. So he's he's just laughing at me. He's like, you can do this. You got it. I'm just like, no, I need help. So we both uh, moved it and then just put it against the wall. For the box springs, I can take care of that myself. They're very light, but when it comes to the mattress, I need help. So thanks to my husband for helping me out. So as you guys can see, under the bed is just <laughs> everything is in there. Uh, uh, my baby's toys, a um, curtain rod that I just somehow forgot in there, a hanger, uh, a clothes hanger, and also my baby's car seat cover. I don't even know how it ended up in there, but we had some cobwebs in there, some dust. As you guys can see, it's flying all over the place. I was sneezing. But guys, I am so glad that I finally got to deep clean under my bed like especially clean up these cobwebs because i've been noticing some spiders going around and i and i don't like anything that crawls so i was so happy that finally you know uh i can clean it, this place i've been feeling so um unmotivated <laughs> So I'm also not forgetting to vacuum the headboard of my bed. It's been a while since I've done that. I wish I had my cordless vacuum because it would make it so much easier to um, vacuum it. I also wanted to get the back of my bed, uh, but my husband had to go to work and I didn't want to have to move the whole uh, bed by myself because I didn't want to like, you know, break anything or any sort of that. So I was just being precautious, uh, but I wish I had my cordless vacuum because that would have made it so much easier to get to.
So since my husband had to go to work, um, I decided to put the mattress and the um, box springs, which are very light, back on the bed. Um, I prayed that I get the whole mattress on properly because I didn't want to have to deal with this myself. Um, my husband was like, why don't you just wait for me until I get back from work? And I didn't want to do that because he comes home at night and I like to get the job done once I start on the job. I couldn't wait for him. So I was like, I'm just, I got this. I, I can do it myself. So guys, since my bed it's a king size bed, I'm thinking of purchasing more pillows for my bed just to kind of make it more fuller and you know look more pretty. Uh, I want to buy like one of those big fluffy pillows they have at home good, at least like three of them and just have like at least five to six pillows on my bed um, my husband on the other hand does not like lots of pillows on the bed but i want to put some more on there just to kind of make our bed look more uh, cozy and just you know inviting um but what do you guys think of having lots of pillows on the bed are you one of those people that have like six seven pillows because i've seen people that do that especially the videos here on YouTube, but are you one of those type of people or do you just prefer to have like um, simple what you need on there and then that's it. So guys, today's video is coming to an end. I hope that I gave you the motivation that you were looking for. If you were cleaning along with me, let me know in the comment. If you're new here and you made it all the way here, thank you so much. I hope that you would consider to subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, give the video a thumbs up and comment it down below where you are watching my video from. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys in my other ones. Bye.